Hello, welcome to the channel Kids Cloud. Plenty of terms we learn in science. Photosynthesis is one of them. Term photosynthesis is related to plants that we all are knowing. What exactly the word photosynthesis means? If you try to split the word, you will get two terms, photo and synthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means to put together. So we can say using photo means light, plant synthesizes means put together all chemical compounds and prepare their food. When we see the plants growing or when we think about plants, there are some basic questions which arises in our mind. How plants grow? How they make their food? Who provides them water? So the answer of all these questions are related to term photosynthesis. Unlike animals or like us, plants don't depend on others for their food. In fact, plants are self-sustainable for their food. With the help of some naturally accessible factors, they can make their own food. The process through which plants prepare their food is called as photosynthesis. Before going into detail of photosynthesis, we will try to understand important parts of plants. First part of plant is root. Roots absorb water and nutrients from soil and transport towards the stem. The next thing, roots help plant to stay still and upright in the soil. Second part is stem. The water and nutrients transported from roots further carried away by stem to different parts of plant. Third part is leaves. With the help of water, carbon dioxide in air and sunlight, leaves prepare food for the plants. This process is called as photosynthesis. Fourth important part is flowers. Flowers produce seeds from which new plant will grow. That means flowers helps in the reproduction of plants. Now let's try to understand role of leaves in photosynthesis. Chlorophyll. Leaf contains the plant pigment chlorophyll which absorbs sunlight in photosynthesis. Due to presence of chlorophyll, leaves are green in color. Leaves are mostly flat so that their maximum surface can absorb sunlight. Surface of leaves is very thin for easy diffusion of sunlight. Next point is that the stomata which present in the leaves regulates the exchange of gases that is carbon dioxide and oxygen and water vapor in the atmosphere. Let's learn the term photosynthesis in more detail. Using atmospheric carbon dioxide water from roots and absorbing sunlight, plants prepare their food means glucose and release oxygen in the atmosphere. This process is called as photosynthesis. This process takes place in the leaves as they contain green pigment chlorophyll which absorb the sunlight. We can represent the photosynthesis process by following equation. There are two prime steps which involved in photosynthesis. First is light reaction and second is dark reaction. First step that is light reaction involves absorption of light by chlorophyll pigment and converting into ATP, NADPH and oxygen. Second step is dark reaction. ATP, NADPH prepared in the first step 
are used to synthesize glucose in presence of carbon dioxide. Let's try to understand what exactly happens in light reaction. Chlorophyll present in leaves absorb light. This light energy is converted into chemical energy through following reactions. First, formation of adenosine triphosphate molecule that is ATP molecule which is used as a source of energy in dark reaction. Second, decomposition of water molecule by sunlight into hydrogen ions and oxygen. This oxygen is released in the atmosphere. Third, formation of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate that is NADPH using hydrogen ions released in step 2. So we can represent the light reaction as follows. Second part of photosynthesis is dark reaction. This reaction occur in stroma part of chloroplast present in leaves. This is light independent reaction. But to complete this reaction, we need the products which are formed in light reaction. So this reaction involves the synthesis of glucose molecule using carbon dioxide in presence of ATP and NADPH formed in light reaction. This is also called as Calvin Benson cycle as it was discovered by Melvin Calvin and Andy Benson. The balanced chemical equation for photosynthesis is as follows. 6CO2 plus 6H2O gives C6H12O6 plus 6O2. Importance of photosynthesis this is most important natural process which sustains life on earth. This process provides primary source of food for all food chains. It balances the oxygen and carbon dioxide level in atmosphere. Higher concentration of carbon dioxide is dangerous to living organism. Photosynthesis process helps to decrease this level by absorbing carbon dioxide. Oxygen is important for the breathing and maintaining the ozone layer. This is the only process which releases oxygen to atmosphere. The fossil fuels, for example natural gas, coal, petroleum are energy rich materials. The energy we use from these sources is basically solar energy which are stored by process of photosynthesis during ancient time. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe this channel.